the court. Alex Dukas, who was a big get for Randy Bennett and company, coming back for his fifth year to Moraga. He starts at a wing alongside Joshua Jefferson, the freshman making it, or the sophomore rather, making his first career start. And Mitchell Saxon, joined by Amaya, wins the tip for St. Mary's. Gales are in the white. Stanislaus State in the black, and we are underway in the 2023-24 college basketball season here in Moraga. Marshallonis knifing the lane. Back out to Mahaney. Gales with 12 to shoot. Mahaney probing, hits a back cutter. That's Dukas. Gales are on the board as Dukas scores with the right hand. Randy Bennett called Alex Dukas. This program's biggest recruit in the offseason. That he wanted to challenge himself and really felt like he had unfinished business due to that injury in the round of 32 against UConn in the first half. One in which the Gales were actually on top of the eventual national champions. Three on the way straight away from Jeremiah Jones is no good. But the Warriors clear the offensive board. Stanislaw State hit 15 threes in that game against Nevada last Tuesday. Warriors are picked to finish ninth in the CC2A. Rocking into a three is John Wade the third. Well, the Warriors, they want to push the tempo. They really like the three-point line. And they were at they had 15 threes. And that opener, Mahaney hanging. Can't hit Saxon with the offensive board. And the putback. Mitchell Saxon, all WCC a year ago. Averaging 11.5 points, 7.5 rebounds per game. The senior out of Seattle. Here's Cam Walker. Straight away, the big man Amaya comes up short on a three. And Mahaney collects the rebound for the Gales. And the white uniforms, names on the back of the jerseys for the first time that I can remember here at St. Mary's. There's a post touch for Saxon. Spins baseline, left hand, he's fouled. He'll go to the line. So Mitchell Saxon, Gales really feel like they have an advantage on the interior. And you look at Stanislaw State, now rebounded by Nevada, 40 to 33. Nevada team that won 22 games a year ago. And the Wolfpack in that game shot 42 free throws. But again, Stanislaus stayed 15 of 35 in that game from distance. Allowed him to hang around as Saxon gets the first free throw. A 62% foul shooter a year ago. Mitch preseason all West Coast Conference. Led the league in blocks. He was third in field goal percentage. Eight double doubles a year ago. He nets both free throws. And the Gales have an early 6-3 lead. Of course, the trademark of the Gales over the last couple years has been a half-court defense. Gone from those clubs, though, two of the main defensive stalwarts as Marshallonis fouls Jones on the baseline. The foul comes on the floor. Officials tonight, Ruben Ramos, Tommy, Toby Doolittle, and Thomas Nally. 20 on the shot clock for the Warriors. They finished in a five-way tie for ninth in the CC2A a year ago. Chain gang out for Cam Walker, too strong on a three. Already, Stanislaus, they have not taken a two yet. They're one of four from the field. They've all come from outside the arc. Marshallonis fouled on the drive by Jeremiah Jones. That foul also coming on the floor. Second team foul on Stanislaus State. And Marshallonis will do the honors. Gales, they're picked to win the WCC by the conference's coaches. Here's Jefferson downstairs. Kick out to Dukas. Extra pass. Marshallonis wide open. Jefferson with the offensive rebound. Goes back up. Sticks it in. So the Gales with six straight. They have an 8-3 lead. Joshua Jefferson, the Gales scrimmage against Hawaii, he was all over the place, making his first collegiate start. Chain gang run off the line. 
Now fumbling the pass is Jeremiah Jones. It's a turnover. Here comes Jefferson. Near side to Mahaney falling out of bounds, and the Gales turn it over. Yeah, just a half second of hesitation there by J. Jeff. Threw it behind Mahaney. 8-3 Gales. 16 and a half minutes to play in this opening half. Nearly a full house in Moraga. Left hand drive blocked from behind by Jefferson. That was Walker going to the basket. Here comes Chris Howell checking in for the first time. We'll replace Marshall Onis. Howell, the redshirt sophomore out of San Diego. One of the guys Randy Bennett talked about really being a ball mover. Chris Howell along with Joshua Jefferson. Gales lead by five. Stanislaus State one of five from the field thus far. Here's John Wade, the transfer from CSUN with the left hand. Able to get it to go down. He's got all five for the Warriors. And the Gale lead is three. Here's Jefferson again. Right box, turns over the left shoulder. Came up short. Point blank for J. Jeff. Now Amaya facing up on Saxon, backing down with that right hand, it's swatted away, tough shot, turning over the left shoulder, banks it home. So Amaya brings the Warriors to within one. It's 8-7, Mahaney, he has not scored yet, drops it off to Saxon, the and one. So Mitchell Saxon off the feed for Mahaney. He'll go to the line for a chance at another three-point play. And he gives the Gales a three-point lead. That make the world work. And now it's Saturday night, rodeo night. So you're thinking horses, which means you're thinking boots. And when you're thinking boots, you're thinking Harriet. Mitchell Saxon completes the three-point play, giving the Gales a four-point lead. Welcome back to Moraga. Fifteen and a half minutes to play here in the opening half. The Gales in their home and season opener. Cal State Stanislaus, three of seven from the field thus far. Two of three from inside the arc. Cam Walker chased by Mahaney, gives it up Jeremiah Jones, the junior out of Vacaville. Went to Salesian in Richmond and shuffled the feet, dragging the pivot foot defended by Chris Howell. So the Warriors turn it over. That's their second. And a couple of uh, new Warriors into the ball game. Dontrell Hewlett, a team high 14 points against Nevada, number 12. Checks in. Also defending the ball, Tony Singleton, junior out of Apple Valley. Back cut by Dukas. Deep position over the left shoulder. Barely ticks iron. Sacks in the offensive board. No good on two putbacks, but Dukas leaves his feet. Middle of the paint, floats it back up and in. Well, Dukas and Saxon combining for all but two of the points so far for St. Mary's. Cal State Stanislaus with Amaya at the top of the arc. The big man gets it up to Wade. Wade's got five. Wade at the right elbow. I really feel like Wade is going to bring an element of athleticism. A Division I transfer way off. Hewlett just beat the shot clock. Now Wade will try. That's also a deep three, but it comes up short off the front rim. Here comes Mahaney, and we get a whistle away from the ball. That's Joshua Jefferson being defended by Wade in the paint, and Wade will be whistled for the infraction. Already on Stanislaus, the third team foul. It's the first on Wade. Jeremiah Jones has picked up two for the Warriors. He's currently on the bench for Paul Trevor. The Gales will have it on the baseline. Luke Barrett has checked in for St. Mary's for the first time. Richard Jr. out of Piedmont. Mahaney with the left hand. And he is on the board. Wade Mahaney just named yesterday to the Naismith watch list. Most of the top player, one of the top 50 players in the country preseason. As Hewlett, a little strong on the jumper. Here comes Jefferson, bringing it up the floor. And now Mahaney with Hewlett on him. Gales with an eight-point lead. St. Mary's is six of 12 from the field. They're out-rebounding Stanislaus nine to four. 
Jefferson inside as it ripped away. Recovers, finds Barrett off the side of the backboard. And the Warriors with the rebound. And ahead comes Tony Singleton. Singleton at 5'11", tries to dish it across the paint, knocked away by Jefferson. Barrett trying to run the break, pass deflected by Hewlett, and the Gales turn it over. Now the second St. Mary's turnover, both in transition. And it's going to be an element of the St. Mary's game. It sounds like it might be a little more prevalent this season as Wade misses the jumper. And they really, Randy Bennett really feels like uh, this club with this personnel you know, has the ability to play a higher possession type of game. Saxon slipping to the basket with the right hand. Mitchell Saxon having his way early. And a nice find by Mahaney over the top. Saxon already with nine points and four rebounds. He's three of five from the field. And the Gales have opened up their first double-digit lead of the evening. Wade on Barrett. Now Chain Gang. The only out-of-state warrior that's playing tonight. Chain Gang out of Georgia. Turnaround for Singleton. That's an air ball. Good defense by Mahaney. Now Mahaney one-on-one -on -one with the left hand. Can't finish in the open floor. And the Warriors back the other way, and Chain Gang wasn't looking, and that's gonna be a backcourt violation. Pass came cross court, Chain Gang wasn't looking, it hit his right hand as he was in the front court. Ricochet back to Singleton in the backcourt. That's a turnover on the Warriors. Mason Forbes gets his first action with the Gales, replacing Joshua Jefferson. He'll inbound bottom of your screen. Transferred from Harvard. Forbes is uh, playing in his fifth year of eligibility from nearby Folsom. He was high school teammates with Jordan Ford, second all-time leading scorer at St. Mary's. Marshall Onis also back into the lineup. It's Barrett wide open, top of the arc. Three comes up short, and a foul on the rebound. It's going to go on Mason Forbes. Go back the other way we go, but first we have a timeout here in Moraga. Gales are on a 9 nothing Cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Gales have a 17-7 lead with 11.45 to play in the first half. Alex Jensen welcome you back to Moraga as the Warriors have the basketball out of the timeout after the foul on Mason Forbes. John, uh, Tony Singleton on the right side. Up top, this is Micah Boone, the redshirt sophomore of Discovery Bay. Now a drive from Mata Filet. Tough shot over Saxon, can't get it to go. Marshallonis clears the rebound. It's Marshallonis with Howell and Barrett, Forbes, and Saxon. Gale's up 17 to seven. Saxon's had it going early with nine points and four rebounds, looking for Marshallonis on a back cut, throws it away. So Mahaney getting his first rest. Gale's are seven of 16 from the field. Stanislaus State, 3 of 13. The Warriors have missed their last six, and they have not scored in four and a half minutes. Singleton trying to put an end to that off the side of the rim, and rebound cleared by Chris Howell. He'll hit Saxon in the open floor. And can you see the Gales pushing the tempo a little bit more as Marshall Lonis can't hit the three. Forbes tip jam doesn't go, and now a foul on the rebound. And I believe it's going to stay here, coming on Stanislaus State. It will. It's... On uh, Will Shaverin, who was also checked in. Shaverin, the Richard sophomore of Oakland. Transfer from Cal Poly Pomona. So Luke Barrett with two free throws. With 10.48 to play in the opening half. You see Forbes just missing the tip jam. And Barrett, he's going to mix it up when he's in there. I mean, he is not going to be afraid of contact getting in toward the boards as he pinballs out the first free throw. A high energy player, Luke Barrett, who in limited time last year also did shoot 36% from three. At 6'6 six, six out of Piedmont, splits the free throws and the Gales have an 11 point lead. Right now for the Warriors, you've got Singleton with Shaverin, Hewlett, and Boone. And with the ball now is Filet. Gales lead by 11. Warriors have missed their last seven and a turnover 
As dribbling on the baseline goes Mata Filet. The Gales, under 40%, they're 7 of 18. They have not made a three yet, but they're outscoring Stanislaus State in the paint 14 to 4. Marcelonis, he's so strong with that left hand a year ago. Backs out, now a foul underneath. It's going to go on the Warriors again. This is going to be on Filet. Sixth team foul on Stanislaus State. So nearly midway through the first half, the Gales are nearly in the bonus. As Mahaney and Dukas return, Harry Wessels, 7-1 sophomore out of Australia, makes his first appearance this season for the Gales. Howell, Barrett, and Saxon all come off. Marshallonis triggers. Two-man game with Wessels. Now Marshallonis will back out. 15 to shoot, nearly midway through the first half. Wessels on filet. Shovels for Marshallonis. Dukas is open from the left side, lets a three fly. 13-0, St. Mary's run. That's the Gales' first triple today. Dukas has seven on three of four shooting. 21-7. Chaverin. Filet thought about the three. Now he wants to go inside on Wessels. Harry swallows it up, but steps on the baseline. A 9-40 to play. We'll see what they do with the shot clock here. The officials will get together. Paul Trevor, by the way, in his seventh season at Stanislaus State. Before COVID, 44 and 39. That was three seasons. And the two years after COVID, just 20 and 31. That really feel folks around the Stanislaus State program that the Warriors were headed in an upward trajectory before COVID interrupted the progress. Paul Trevor, he was at San Francisco State for seven seasons, won 107 games, was the region co-coach of the year in 2017. Three on the way from Boone is off back iron. Offensive board to Hewlett. Hewlett backs out. Gales lead by 14. Nine and a half minutes to play in the opening half. Hewlett on Marshallonis. He's fouled. Floater doesn't go, but Marshallonis reaching in. That'll be his second foul. Just the third team foul on St. Mary's, and with 9.28 to go, the Warriors will try and snap a scoreless drought of 6 minutes and 17 seconds. The Gales in that time have scored 13 in a row. As Dontrell Hewlett goes to the line. And he misses the first free throw. Howell returns for Marshallonis. Isaiah Jones checks in for the first time for Stanislaus State. And he is replacing... Mata Filet. The Warriors there are going very small right now. The tallest player on the floor for Stanislaus State is 6'6". Dontrell Hewlett on his third school. Started Utah State Eastern, then Odessa College, a couple of junior colleges. He has ended up now in Turlock. Splits the free throws. Mahaney for Howell. Gales gets settled in the half court. Well, 21 to 8. Saxon with nine points. Dukas with seven. The Gales are eight of 19 from the field. Dukas, same spot. Too strong this time. Forbes high in the air, keeps it alive. Mahaney is open. That comes up a little too strong. Foul on the rebound. And that's going to go on Stanislaus State. So the Gales will get free throws. And St. Mary's now in the bonus. 9.04 to play. It'll be a one and one. And Alex Dukas will do the honors. Or will it be Dukas? It'll be Harry Wessels. The 7-1 sophomore. John Wade the third back into the lineup for the Warriors. He's got five of Stanislaus State's eight points. So here's Wessels. 62% from the line a year ago. And Harry in his sophomore year bottoms the first free throw. Two and a half points per game, nearly 60% from the field. Only time he did not enter a game is only DNP of the season in the round of 64 against VCU in the NCAA tournament. 
Nails, of course, won that game, would move on to fall to UConn, the eventual national champion to end the season. Wessel splits the free throws. And the Gale lead is 14. And here is Wade driving, losing it out of bounds. Howell will force the turnover. Sixth turnover committed by Stanislaus State. Gales are on a 14 to one run despite missing six of their last seven. Again, the Warriors will pressure the Gales in the backcourt. Mahaney breaks it up the far sideline. Mahaney gets right to the cup. That's Aiden's second bucket. Comes with 8.35 to play in the first half. And the Gales have opened up a 16 point lead. It's their biggest in this first half. Stanislaus State, just three for 16. Hewlett, tough shot, floating over the 7-1 Wessels. Harry kept his verticality, grabs the miss. Now Mahaney trapped on the far side, throws ahead for Dukas. Howell downstairs, Forbes fouled, and Mason Forbes will go to the line. It's a good pass from Chris Howell. Dukas goes from one side of the court to the other, and Howell, who Randy Bennett described as a guy who's, you know, makes it easy to play with, a ball mover, as coach put it. A good pass to Forbes, and Forbes drawing the foul. Here's Mason, who redshirted last year here in Moraga. Short on the first free throw. Wade comes off. That last foul was on Wade. That is his second. And Daniel Omaya checks back in for the Warriors. Forbes' second free throw. He missed them both. Wessels with the putback. At 7-1, able to reach back and then kiss it off the glass and in. The well, Wessels gives the Gales an 18-point lead. St. Mary's now 18-4, points in the paint. Boone, a jab step and a three, and that's good. Well, the Warriors, that's their first field goal in eight minutes. Wessels downstairs, guarded by the 6-7 Amaya, finds a back cutter, that's Forbes, high off the window, and one. So Mason Forbes in his Gales debut will go to the line with a chance at three. Mason Forbes completes the three-point play. Welcome back to Moraga. Forbes rattles in the free throw. He comes off, and Joshua Jefferson comes back on. So a seven and a half minutes to play in the opening half. The Gales have a 29-11 lead. Glad you're with us. Opening night across college basketball. Alex Jensen with you here in Moraga as Boone rocks into a mid-range. Too strong. Wessels with the rebound. And Mahaney will jog ahead. Mahaney, Chris Howell, Dukas, Jefferson, and Wessels. Howell. A shot fake, penetrate, kick out, Mahaney three, offline. And Amaya grabs the rebound. Well, Mahaney two for six to start the evening. Had a 25 points in his collegiate debut in the opener last season against Oral Roberts as Jeremiah Jones can't find the range off the window. Mahaney into the paint, finds Howell. 6.40 to play. The Gales are 11 of 25 from the field. They're just one of eight from three. They're outscoring Stanislaus State 20 to four in the paint. Jefferson with a take, a lot of contact, can't finish. Gets his own board, 20 back on the shot clock. Howell shovels for Jefferson, can't finish, but a foul. Now Jefferson low left was right there. And he got slapped on the four, maybe the shoulder. Ball jostled free a little bit, but Jay Jeff to the free throw line. Really a guy in Joshua Jefferson that you know, Randy Bennett. They say we really haven't had a guy like this before. A playmaking four is the way Randy Bennett described Joshua Jefferson. He rattles in the first free throw. 30 to 11 St. Mary's. It's a different look at this position than Kyle Bowen has offered the Gales the last three years. Of course, KB along with Logan Johnson, two of the best defenders in the entire West Coast Conference. But Joshua Jefferson, he's a different style of player. You've seen him already 
as he hits both free throws, bring the ball in transition, bring the ball up the floor at 6'8". Very smart player, good passer. Gales lead by 20, it's 31-11. Jeremiah Jones holding the dribble on the right side. Isaiah Jones is also in there. He went four for five from three against Nevada, but this three is sent away by Dukas. And Jefferson scoops up the loose ball. Here comes Chris Howell in the open floor, finds Wessels. Well, Chris Howell, he was making things happen as he finds Wessels pushing the tempo. Wessels now has five points. He was on a 25 to four run since it was eight to seven. Mid-range on the way from Hewlett, pinballs out, foul on the rebound is gonna go on the Warriors, I believe, as Dukas is helped to his feet. And no, they're gonna say it was out of bounds. So out of bounds off St. Mary's. Cam Walker returns for Stanislaus State, off comes Hewlett. Marshall Lonis also back into the ball game for Mahaney. Well, gone are, again, KB, Kyle Bowen, and Logan Johnson, but the Gales Right back to their old tricks defensively. Stanislaw State is four for 22 from the field. They have missed 14 of their last 15, the Warriors have. Nearly a five-second call. Amaya has it in the far corner. Jones, Walker, chain gang with Isaiah Jones and Amaya. As Jeremiah Jones misfires on a three, Dukas clears the rebound and pushes ahead for Marshallonis. Well, five and a half minutes to play in the opening half. 33 to 11. Saxon is back in there. Hand off Marshallonis with the left hand. Gets to the rim and finishes off, off glass. Marshallonis' first points. He's been saddled to the bench just seven minutes in the first half. He's got two fouls. Cam Walker too strong on a three. Jefferson wards off a pair of black jerseys for the rebound. Here comes J. Jeff turning the corner down the baseline. Joshua Jefferson at 6'8", putting the ball on the deck with the left hand, getting to the glass and laying it home. Jefferson's got six points, six rebounds. Chain gang back up top. Gales have scored 10 in a row following the three by Micah Boone. Here's Amaya. Handed off Jeremiah Jones. Three to shoot. A drive, up and under, no good, and that's a shot clock violation. Ball never hit the rim. So 36-11 St. Mary's. And Stanislaus State for the Gales, for Stanislaus State, they're counting this as really an exhibition. The Warriors, they will uh, open their regular season at the PacWest CC2A Conference Challenge. That's coming up on uh, Friday at number 11, Point Loma. So the Warriors will begin the second half with the basketball. John Wade the third, along with Cam Walker, Jonathan Chain Gang. This is uh, Chain Gang with the left hand, turnaround jumper over Jefferson is too strong. Four for 31 were the Warriors in the opening half. The Gales 19 of 36. St. Mary scored the final 25 points of that first half. Starters on the floor. Mahaney with a touch pass, threw it into traffic. It's picked off by Chain Gang, the turnover. And Jeremiah Jones slithers to the cup and lays it in. That is just the second field goal for Stanislaus State since the 15-30 mark of the first half. Saxon, close player to double figures. Around the perimeter it goes to Alex Dukas, his three offline. He was again reaching the half century mark on just two threes. Wade to the cup with the right hand. Nice take by the transfer from Cal State Northridge. He's got seven to lead Stanislaus State. The Gales said he'd look to keep the offensive rhythm going in the opener. Starting five on the floor, Marshallonis, Mahaney, Dukas, Jefferson, and Saxon. Marshallonis wide open, Joshua Jefferson from the left corner. Too short, Dukas high in the air, trying to tip it home. Hit the deck hard, and he's down. 
off the offensive rebound. The putback is good, but the concern right now is Alex Dukas, who went high in the air to try and tip that one in, and he is still down on you know, face down on the floor. He's going to push himself back up. Now, of course, he's had back issues in the past, and he you know, limps off toward the Gail bench in the, the new locker room area behind the the basket on the left side, followed by St. Mary's head athletic trainer Josh Sims. You remember again, he really tried to focus on you know, not reshaping his body as Saxon got the bucket. It's the first bucket of the uh, second half for St. Mary's, but strengthening the trunk and trying to eliminate some of the back issues that have plagued him in the past. Saxon completes the three point play. And Mitch leads all scorers with a dozen to go along with six rebounds. And we'll keep our eye out for Alex Dukas. Of course, well documented him coming out in the first half of that UConn game and in the round of 32. And after that, downhill for St. Mary's against the eventual national champion. Barrett with the steal. He comes on for Dukas. Josh Sims pops it back out from uh, that locker room area. Mahaney terminates the dribble. Joshua Jefferson blew a tire, lost his shoe in the right corner. 15 to shoot. Marshallonis crossover with the left hand, tried to kick out to Barrett, knocked away by Wade. Looked like Goose had a, had a lane to the basket. Tried to kick it out. Well, St. Mary's will have it on the near side. 53 to 15. Gales are 20 of 39 from the field, that's 51%. Here's Mahaney, hasn't gotten it going yet. Three off the bounce, got it. That's his first triple. Hayden's got nine points. I think they changed the Mason Forbes three to a two at halftime. 56-15, tough shot on the way from Chain Gang is off the window too strong, and the Gales push back ahead. Here's Marshallonis finding Jefferson, and now St. Mary's will set up in the half court. 56-15. Marshall Onis looking for Saxon. He's got a game-high 12. Now Mahaney through the lane, leaves his feet, finds Jefferson. He's fouled. Count the bucket. Joshua Jefferson in the double figures with an and one. And J. Jeff will go to the line with a chance at three. Good find by Mahaney. Who now has uh, five assists on the night. The back cut by Jefferson, able to finish through contact that time. And he hit the deck hard. Well, Jefferson, again, a, a guy that the Gales really believe has all league talent as he rattles in the free throw. He's got 11. He's been all over the place tonight, 11 points. Seven rebounds for Jay Jeff. Really saw his playing time increase as the season went along a year ago as well. Over 12 minutes per game over the last nine games for the Gales. Hewlett's back in there. Gives it up to Jeremiah Jones. Warriors. They've begun this second half. Two of four. Marshall Onis with a steal. Saxon trying to get it ahead to Jefferson. Deflected into the hands of Mahaney. And now the Gales will set up in the half court. Downstairs. Saxon back to the basket on Hewlett. Spins the left hand, can't finish off the window. Tip doesn't go. And the rebound eventually collected by Wade. Here's Hewlett. Knocked away off his knee and now picked up by Jefferson. 11th Stanislaus State turnover. Now Jefferson inside. Shot fake fouled. J. Jeff back to the line. 16-14 to play. I'd love to see you when the Gales return to University Credit Union Pavilion on Thursday, 7 p.m. tip against the New Mexico Lobos, who beat St. Mary's in this building a year ago, one of just two home losses for the Gales a season ago. As Joshua Jefferson misses the first free throw. Tickets, smcgales.com. You can also stop by the Gales ticket office during regular business hours. So keeping... Eye out for Alex Dukas. He has not emerged from the, the locker room yet. Jefferson splits the free throws. He's got the last four for St. Mary's. 
60 to 15. Gales have really taken the air out of the Stanislaus State offense. It's a foul away from the ball. Reminder, Stanislaus State at Nevada last week. And they were tied in that game at 77 against the Wolf Pack with 159 remaining. Chris Howell returns. Marshall Lonis comes off. Stanislaus State, they had 15 threes in that game. That was a major emphasis for St. Mary's today, taking the Warriors off the line. Stanislaus, they're just two of 13 from three today. Of course, that's been a hallmark of Randy Bennett's defense is taking you off the three. Jeremiah Jones on Howell, lost it. Three on two, Mahaney sprints past his man and lays it in. So Mahaney now into double figures. He's got 11 on five of nine shooting. Off the dribble, Hewlett offline. Barrett keeps the rebound alive and gives it up to Howell. A 62 to 15. Again, Stanislaus State down by just one against Nevada at halftime. Barrett will put it on the deck. But the Gales, after the first five minutes, they have controlled this ball game. Jefferson misfires on a three. And the rebound to Cam Walker. Cross court, Jeremiah Jones hits a three. It's just the Warriors' third three. Jones had 12 points in that game against Nevada. Alex Dukas is back on the bench, a good sign. Whistle away from the basketball. And Joshua Jefferson trying to make his way into the lane. He's fouled, I believe that was Hewlett. Haney with a bucket out of the timeout. 14 and a half minutes to play here in Moraga. It's 64 to 18, St. Mary's. Mahaney all of a sudden leads all scores with 13. He's got seven in the second half. Hales are shooting 52% from the field. They're on a 14 to three run after Stanislaus scored the first four points of the second half and floating it up and in is Hewlett. So 14 10 to go and Stanislaus State is to the 20 point mark. Mason Forbes has checked in. Mahaney with a left hand drive, kisses it home. Man, that was smooth with the offhand for Aiden Mahaney. He has come alive out of the break. Nine points in the second half and a game high 15. Gales now have 42 points in the paint. Jordan Ross, the freshman, and Cade Bennett wait at the scorer's table for St. Mary's. Off the miss, the rebound to Wade. Kick out, Walker too strong on a three, and Forbes with the rebound in traffic. 13-20 to play. The Gales are at 66 points a year ago. St. Mary's averaged 70 a game. And Alex Dukas back on the bench. That's a great sign. Harry Wessels in the ball game tries to hit Howell back cut. It's knocked away, and the Warriors with the steal. Jeremiah Jones in the open floor running hook off glass. No good. And Wessels swallows up the board. The Gales also have a 39-17 rebounding advantage. 12 assists for St. Mary's, including a game-high five for Aiden Mahaney. It also ties a career high. Now Mahaney dribbling on Wade. In with the left hand. Tried to scoop it up with the inside hand. Can't get it to go. And the rebound knocked out of bounds. It's going to be a foul on Harry Wessels. So it'll go back to Stanislaus. Jordan Ross, Cade Bennett will check in. Their first career minutes. Aiden Mahaney, Luke Barrett come off. Mahaney, 15 points on 7 of 12 shooting, a rebound and 5 assists in 23 minutes. So it's Jordan Ross, Cade Bennett, Chris Howell, Mason Forbes, and Harry Wessels. Gales have outscored the Warriors 16 to 9 in the second half. Walker, up top, run off the line. Shabarin is fouled. And Shaverin will go to the line. Foul on Harry Wessels. 12 and a half minutes to play. This will be free throws just three and four for Stanislaus in the game. And Shaverin will do the honors. The redshirt sophomore out of Oakland. Transfer from Cal Poly Pomona. 
12 games with two starts last year for Pomona. Another member of the CC2A. And the Warriors, they're picked to finish ninth in the league. Chico State, who is preseason number 22 in the Division II pool, or poll, pardon me, as Chavarin hits the first free throw. The Wildcats are picked to win the league, followed by Cal State San Bernardino, who's uh, number 13 in the Division II preseason top 25. Chavarin gets both free throws to go. Nine newcomers on this Warriors club, including eight transfers. Now Jordan Ross getting his first minutes. will take over point here. Cade Bennett, of course, the coach's son, after a red shirt year, enters the post to Wessels. Here's Forbes back cutting. Forbes! And one! Well, it's got to feel great for Mason Forbes after sitting out last year, spending his his first four seasons at Harvard, averaged eight points and five rebounds as a senior in just 11 games, that COVID-shortened year in 21-22 with the Crimson. You know, spent last year and really got a handle on the system. Again, got a chance to get healthy. As he completes the three-point play. And just a strong athletic. He is going to give the Gales valuable minutes this season. That three-point play, he is the fourth Gale into double figures with ten. Four or five shooting. Hewlett to the rim. Can't scoop at home. Wessels with the rebound. And Howell wants to push. Finds Cade Bennett. The lob to Forbes. Nice play by Cade Bennett and Forbes, the recipient. He's got the last five for St. Mary's. And Forbes now with a dozen. Gales are eight of 14 since halftime. 46 points in the paint. That three partially blocked by Howell. Hewlett gets it back. Eight on the shot clock for the Warriors. Hewlett trying to make something happen. Euro step to the rim. Nice move at the end of the clock. Well, the Warriors believe he can be an all-league type of player. Dontrell Hewlett. Wessels, 17 to shoot. 71-24, the St. Mary's lead. Wessels spins and lays it in with the left hand. Say this has been a pretty good first look at the 22-23 or the 23-24 St. Mary's Gales. Everyone has contributed. Howell turns it over, looking to stretch the floor, and now back the other way comes Shavarin, and he is fouled by Wessels. That's going to be number three in just 12 minutes on the big man out of Australia. Gales and the uh, Warriors will have free throws here. It'll be Will Shavarin. Hey, Gales fans! If you love attending live sporting events and concerts, then be sure to check out Tickets for Less. At ticketsforless.com, you'll find the best selection of tickets to all of your favorite events, and you never have to pay steep per ticket service fees like you do on other sites. Whether you're looking to see your gales or are planning a trip to see a big event in the city, ticketsforless.com should always be your first stop for tickets. Ticketsforless.com, proud partner of St. Mary's Athletics and live event goers everywhere. Both free throws down for Shaverin. And Jordan Ross nearly turns it over, but Mason Forbes was fouled on the entry pass. That is the 15 foul on Stanislaus State. It comes with 10-15 to play. 17 to shoot. Ross into Bennett. They may have just had that one out of bounds. Off of Stanislaus State. Bennett's open. He'll take the three. Comes up short. Forbes with the rebound. Back inside to Wessels for the two-hand jam. Spin left. Rise up. Throw it down with two. Wessels has nine points and seven rebounds in 12 minutes. 75-26. Filet. 
Singleton, short on a three. Warriors are happy to get Singleton back. He was an all-league player as a freshman in 2021-22. Here's Jordan Ross with the left hand inside. He's fouled hard by Shabarin. So Jordan Ross, the freshman, will go to the line. Really a big win for Randy Bennett on the recruiting circuit, getting Jordan Ross to campus. 6'3", 175 out of Pleasant Grove, Utah. He was the point guard for uh, Compass Prep in Arizona as he misfires on the first free throw. Widely considered a four-star recruit, top 150 as Hewlett comes off and Boone returns. Turn down Stanford and Oregon State, Utah and others as Ross rattles home the second free throw. He's got his first collegiate points as he puts St. Mary's up by 50. 76-26. DePaul was in there as well for Ross. Bennett, the hand check on Singleton. Well, the Gales are going to need their depth in the preseason or non-conference. You look at this season opening three-game home stand for St. Mary's. New Mexico, who really had a breakout year under Richard Patino a year, maybe a year ahead of schedule with their outstanding backcourt. Rory Hawk is in the game. He's got a steal. Hawk fouled from behind. And that will turn into one and one free throws for Rory Hawk, the redshirt freshman out of Townsville, Australia. Here comes Luke Barrett. He'll check in for Forbes. 9.05 to play. So New Mexico coming in on Thursday. Then Weber State, a constant or a regular contender in the uh, in the big sky. And then the Gales will be off to Las Vegas next weekend for the Continental Tires main event. Rory Hawk on the board in his college career as he hits his first free throw. Join the Gales after the Christmas break a year ago. Has some experience playing for the national team in Australia, one of a long line of that Australian pipeline. They really are, the Gales are encouraged by his ability to put the ball in the basket. 6'5", 190, the redshirt freshman out of Townsville, Australia. So after the Continental Tires Classic, the Gales return home for two home games. It'll be Davidson out of the A-10 on November 24th, and then Utah coming to Moraga. Singleton swiped away by Wessels. Loose ball, out of bounds. So we'll go back to the Gales. 8.38 to play. In a neutral game against Boise State. For St. Mary's. And then they'll return home and take on Cleveland State before going at Colorado State in a neutral against uh, UNLV as Wessels commits the foul, setting a screen for Jordan Ross. 78-26. And the final four home games before league starts, Middle Tennessee, Northern Kentucky, Missouri State, and Kent State. St. Mary's, they have had, at least in the net, a top 90 non-conference strength of schedule each of the last two years with very similar scheduling philosophies. Ross blocks the shot from Isaiah Jones. Here comes Rory Hawk. Stanislaus stayed back on defense. Ross open from the top of the arc. Three pinballs out. Wessels trying to tap the rebound out. It ends up on the Gale bench. Cade Bennett is the only Gale to have seen the floor tonight that has not scored. Forbes back in there for Wessels. Four Gales are in double figures, led by Mahaney's 15. Stanislaus State, Singleton, Isaiah Jones, Micah Boone, as Singleton takes Bennett to the rim. Can't finish with the inside hand. Barrett with the rebound. Here comes Ross in the open floor. Hits Hawk streaking down the left side. Now Hawk turns around, finds Barrett across the paint. Forbes shot fake and a foul. And Mason Forbes will go to the line with 7.51 to play. Coming back 
in February of 2022 playing for the Harvard Crimson. He's got 12 points and three rebounds tonight and two free throws upcoming here. His first Crimson. Welcome back to Moraga. Yale's lead at 79-26, 7.51 to play. St. Mary's 54% from the field. Forbes short on the second. Rebound tracked down by Luke Barrett. Bennett around the perimeter. Hawk was open in the left corner, fumbled the pass, and that allows Stanislaus State to get set defensively. And now Hawk can't connect with Forbes on the entry pass. It's a turnover the eighth of the evening on St. Mary's. Yales, if you're just joining us, ended the first half, the final 15 and a half minutes on a 43-4 run. They scored the final 25 points of the first half. And they have held Stanislaus State to 18% from the field. Warriors are 9 of 48. Here's Isaiah Jones for three. That barely ticks iron. And Forbes grabs the rebound. Bennett pushes ahead. Jordan Ross is bumped off his path. Loses it. Ends up in the hands of Barrett. Spinning to the rim is fouled. So Luke Barrett will shoot free throws here. Six rebounds for Barrett in 16 minutes. Gale's season high a year ago was 85. They did that twice. As Barrett nets his first free throw. That gets the Gales to the 80 point mark with still 7.09 to play. Look around the conference tonight. USF, 82 points in the first half. As Barrett knocks down both free throws against Bethesda, non-division one opponent. The Dons currently leading by 60, 115 to 55. It's a newer look USF team. 15 to shoot, Boone rocks into a three. Off the back rim, no good. Gales have Really executed that defensive game plan to a T. Here's Bennett for three in transition. Missed it wide left. Eighty-one twenty-six. Filet backing down on Forbes. Right hand. Forbes sends it away. Sixteen to shoot. Singleton tees up a three. That pinballs out and Ross high in the air for the rebound. Here comes the freshman. Weaving through traffic, finds Barrett. Barrett has it knocked away. Kick out, Rory Hawk wide open. Hits a three. He can really shoot it. Play a little bit for the Boomers in the World Cup qualifiers in 2022. Boone spinning, floating. Nothing there. Hawk tips the rebound, collected by Ross. Ross pushing the tempo. A crossover to the rim with the right hand. Can't finish. Hawk with the rebound. Put back no good. Forbes another board and sticks it back in. Mason Forbes, 15 points, five rebounds. 86-26. Kevin Gad. The yeah, redshirt freshman out of Livermore went to Granada High along with Harry Wessels waiting at the scorer's table. Singleton on Bennett. Kicks to Boone, contested three. Almost banked in. Forbes there for the rebound. And back the other way comes Cade Bennett. 22 to shoot, five minutes to play. Hawk another three, whistle away from the ball. The three is good. And are they going to take a look at what happened away from the play? I believe they counted the three for Rory Hawk, which would be a second triple. Mata Filet hit the deck away from the floor. Now this officiating crew gets together. They're going to head on over to the replay monitor. Let's see if we can see what happened away from the basketball. As it looked like Barrett and Filet collided there as Barrett found Hawk in the right corner to hit the three. I'm not sure, based on the replay we just saw, not sure the officials are going to see a whole lot that would warrant a flagrant or anything of that nature. By the way, I believe they counted the three. We'll get that sorted out. Other scores from around the conference tonight. 
Pepperdine is leading Concordia Irvine 62 to 48. Houston Millette has 23 points in that game for the Waves. Pacific trailing Sam Houston at home 54 43, 437 to go in the second half. Portland leads Long Beach State by one. 32 31 at halftime. And boy, in San Diego, the Toreros and Steve Lavin, they trail. Sonoma State with 6-13 to play in the first half, 25-7. Meanwhile, for the Gales, again, they will be taking on the Nevada, or the uh, New Mexico Lobos on Thursday. And again, that's a game that St. Mary's lost a year ago. New Mexico not in action tonight. Pardon me, the Lobos were in action tonight. They beat Texas Southern 92 to 55. Donovan Dent with 12 points and six assists. I think they counted the three for Rory Hawk. And again, we're getting a look at the replay here. As Luke Barrett went through the lane, again collided with Filet. So they're going to get a foul on Filet. And that will send Luke Barrett to the free throw line with 5.07 to go. Rory Hawk, two of three from the floor. Both field goals have been from distance. Eight points for Hawk in his collegiate debut. As Barrett hits the free throw. What do you think about the West Coast Conference? And it's going to be an interesting season. Of course, no BYU in the league anymore as Barrett comes off. Kevin Gadd checks in. And the Gales, they were picked by one vote to win the league by the conference coaches in the preseason coaches poll over Gonzaga. The Gonzaga, they'll be rebuild, rebuilding without Drew Timmy. Singleton driving the lane, left hand. Can't get it to go, and Kevin Gadd will be called for a blocking foul here with 449. But where's the Zags? They hit the transfer portal, and Graham E.K., the preseason Mountain West Player of the Year a season ago, coming over from Wyoming. He did not play due to injury for the Cowboys a year ago. We know that you know, the Gales saw Wyoming, and they were disjointed in Phoenix. Saw Kevin Gadd drawing the charge. They're just getting over a little bit late on the driving singleton. 4.49 to go. The Warriors, they are 5 of 6, make it 6 of 7 from the free throw line. Ryan Nemhard also coming over from Creighton. Of course, the brother of Andrew Nemhard, former All League guard for the Zags, now in the NBA. I believe he's still at the Indiana Pacers. Both free throws down for Singleton. 91 28 the lead, but. Now who kind of assumes that that third team in the league? It will be Santa Clara, USF. They've both kind of taken a turn at that position in the conference. Ross running the pick and roll with Harry Wessels. Finds him across the lane for two. Nice pass by the freshman with one hand through traffic. Getting Wessels the easy bucket. And Wessels now with 11 points and eight rebounds in just 15 minutes. Here's Isaiah Jones stepping back. Tough fall away jumper, no good. And Cade Bennett cleans up the miss. Gales. Threatening the 100 point mark. Bennett for Hawk straight away. Rory Hawk hits another three. Rory Hawk in his collegiate debut, 11 points, 3 of 3 from deep. And the Gales, another long run here, 23 to 2. Sheck Gay is in the ball game, trying to chase down the loose ball in the corner, threw his hands to Wessels. 3.27 to play, Bennett open straight away, 3 is good! Cade Bennett, how many times has he done that in this gym?
got to be a cool moment for Randy Bennett. As Cade Bennett knocks down a three. We're at 99. Sahi, also in the ball game, holding the dribble for Stanislaus. Turnover, Bennett lobbed for Hawk in. Oh, man. Rory Hawk with the left hand tipping it in. And the Gales are over the century mark. Sahi off mark. Uh, off the mark with a three. Rory Hawk. He's got 13 points in his first college game. Jordan Ross driving the lane to the rim. It's been fun to watch the young guys. As Jordan Ross, it's his first collegiate field goal. One oh three to twenty eight. Jeremiah Jones step back long two is no good. Wessels can't corral the rebound, but Gad is right there. Jordan Smith, sophomore to West Sacramento, is also into the ball game, and now a time. Inside of two minutes to play, Gales lead 103-28. We are fueled. The final minute plus here in Moraga. Mason Forbes backing down. Mason Forbes can't score. Gets his own miss, sticks it back in. The 105-28. The Gales have eclipsed the century mark for the first time since November of 2019. November 24th, 2019. St. Mary's beat Sonoma State 107-56. Here they've got 105, 80 seconds to play. Isaiah Jones coming up short on a three. It bears repeating that this is a Stanislaus State team that went to Reno and only lost to Nevada by four, 84 to 80. And the Gales have just completely taken the Warriors out of their game tonight. Here's Kevin Gadd in his collegiate debut. Inside of a minute to play, 12 to shoot. Gad from the left side for three. Too strong. Bench would have exploded. Here's Forbes. Two-hand jam. Have a night, Mason Forbes. In his Gale debut, he's got a game-high 19 on 8 of 10 shooting. 30 seconds to go. Isaiah Jones, cross-court for Sahi. And for the Gales, they will ride the high of this one into their Division I opener against New Mexico on Thursday. Tip will be at 7 p.m. Encourage you to get here early. Shot clock is off. We'll see if Randy Bennett wants his team to run offense. Well, every Gale that's suited up tonight saw the floor. All but one of them scored. St. Mary's tonight, 56%. 107 points. They allow just 28. And the Gales, an emphatic win on opening night. 107-28 over Division II, 